Hi, I'm Pat McGrew. We're here with English TV, Print Sample TV, at a live print show. We're here at Printing United in Las Vegas, where the world has come together to see all sorts of new things. And I am here with one of my longest friends, Mark Johnson, who is with the Inkjet team at HP, with the Page White Inkjet team at HP. And we are together because HP did something really, really cool. Over the last several years, the elves have been really busy putting feature upgrades on machines, uh, expanding platforms, but then they came out with the machine behind me that doesn't look like anything HP Inkjet has brought out before. So Mark, this is cool. This is like the amazing footprint. It is easy to understand, and it's a, it's a unique everything. It's unique paper path, unique drawing, unique everything. And it fits in a truck. <laughs> it, it fits in a truck, more importantly, it fits in the doorways. So as this press gets put into, and we've got some great videos from, from our customer in France who just did the installation, they were able to get it in the smaller space to get it assembled in about a week. This press that we've got here, we started installation and five days afterwards it was up and running. So that's kind of the headline is these presses are easy to install and, and they're really fast from, from in, in, off the crate into production. You know, I've got one of our, our beta customers, they literally finished the install, and that was the first one, day seven, yeah. and when we were going to do validation testing, they threw us out and said, no, no, no we're going to put jobs on it, and they were running real work on so day number eight. So live print. So this is the, the new platform, it's the HP Page Wide Advantage 2200. So what does all that mean? A lot of words, right? Yeah. So you may have known us as the T250 or the T300 the series or the T400 yeah. series. What this is is now coming after 12 years after launch. Well, okay, yeah. let's, be, let's really go back and say uh, 14 years yeah. after first previewing our 30-inch right. platform, we then came out with a 20-inch platform, then a 40-inch platform. Yeah. What we've done with this is taken all those years of learning and just made it all better. A lot of it's very similar. So the same print heads that you've used in the T250 HD are being used in the Advantage 2200. Paper path, it's still a 22 inch paper path, but instead of going through a very and compact and complicated, some would yep. say, paper yep. path, this one actually does a unique up one side for the front turn and then print okay. the backside on the other half of a larger print arch. What that did for us is that lit us it's a little wider, but it's a lot shorter. Yeah. So that and a lot fewer parts, right? So one of the easier. things um, I had the opportunity to go up for the launch meeting in Corvallis, Oregon, and one of the things that impressed me about the machine was not only these amazing print samples, which I want to get to, but the fact that fewer parts, less maintenance requirement. Yep. So everything about this machine is completely optimized from all those learnings well, what of you many also years. See, and I'm not sure if it shows up on, on the video, but the way that it's modularized, you can have a press that just does monochrome and have one drying station. Yeah. You can have two drying stations to do some more heavier coverage yeah. or go all the way to what we have here on the show floor that can do all of this work, right. three drying systems right. and a chill roller. Yeah, so if, if we come back and we start to think about these print samples, right? So we, we kind of went and scarfed up a bunch from the, the you know, because people are actually walking away with these things. It's, it's very hard to hold. In fact, we had someone try to steal one while we were filming. So tell me a little bit about what I can print now that I couldn't print before. So kind of what I said earlier with, with those modular dryers, yeah. I'm also pointing to something that's really been, and this is true for, for all inkjet, right? Yeah. Inkjet is water-based ink going on paper. When you put water on paper, what do you have to do before you can put it in the mail? Yeah. You have to take the water out. So drying is a really key important thing for, for inkjet printing. And right. what this more beefy, more, more robust drying system has allowed us to do is take those brilliant inks, put them on thicker substrates, more kinds of substrates, and yeah. really paint the page. And that, that's what we're showing with these samples, yeah. is some of the best work I've ever seen on. I've had customers walk up and, and they'll pick it up. What was that printed on? Because it looks like everything else at the show. Offset. The pink toner. is amazing. The, the blues are amazing. 
But the oranges and the purples, right? All of this is just absolutely brilliant. To kind of show that a little bit, we, we produced a book called Colors of the World. Yeah. And what's neat about this is it's done on a gorgeous silk substrate. Yeah. But as you can see, we really emphasize, you know, there's a cyan section, a magenta yeah. section, a yellow focus section, oranges, and you can pull this down. And if you have ever looked at inkjet, you know that some of these colors are have traditionally not been as easy to produce in inkjet. And that's something we, we, we with our brilliant inks, we did a really good job of, of getting over the hump of, you know, color that pops. That was yeah. the thing. But there's also other, other elements to that, right? Color that yeah. pops isn't just putting more pigment in the ink, because that doesn't always do the trick. Yeah. Sometimes it's the substrate itself, sometimes it's yeah. coatings. And this piece that we're showing here, this is, you know, typical car brochure. Right. Yeah. That, the red on that car yes. screams, the wood yeah. tones come right. out, the grain, the detail. Yeah. All of that pops because of the ink. We painted the page so it needed to be dry, but it's also on a heavier substrate, and it's got a postcode, an aqueous gloss postcode. Right. So, and so, this one really, so this is the one that's the 14 point, and this used to be completely out of reach of inkjet, yeah. and now, I mean, this would be valuable to anybody running brand postcards, hang tags, all sorts of, I mean, we show it as a postcard, but there are so many more things. Oh, absolutely, and, and we're trying to show a breadth of applications from a trifold flyer to a postcard to a self mailer. And this is done on a, on a thinner stock, a nine point stock. Yeah, and the catalog, the catalog work. I really love. Now, for me, piece de resistance. The brochure for the press is printed on inkjet technology. And I think that every vendor should do this. I think it's absolutely crazy for you to go pick up a brochure that they sent off to a quick copy place, right? So this is actually printed with the brilliant inks. And I think it just, that deep, that deep navy blue just shows so well. The white pops on it really beautifully. Everything about this okay, brochure. You, you've actually written one of the books on designing for inkjet. Yeah. Because I help with that. And that had always been a thing that you had to really focus on designing for the print technology. Yeah. And that's kind of hard to do. It is hard. Because designers are going to do what they do. They design. And sometimes, like in my case, our agency comes up with a brand look that we have to be compliant with. And that's one of the messages about Inkjet today is it's not apologizing anymore. It's yes, yes and. We can do the stuff you're bringing us. Yeah and it works. So from a print sample perspective, what I would say to everyone is you've got to take a look at modern inkjet technology. Look at these new inks and what they can do. And HP's invested a lot with your paper partners as well, so we have a whole lot of new substrates that are available. And from a print sample perspective, if you can dream it, if you can design it, um, I'm pretty sure this machine can print it. And it's not just this one. You've got a T250, you've got a new push on that, yep. and a T485. T485, which takes all of this beautiful popping color from the brilliant inks and brings that to our 40-inch platform, which is the super high-volume, high-speed system. So this is now open for all mailers. Uh, and, and you mentioned substrates, and that, that's actually a key point of this. The substrates, you're going to see papers that are color pro, which are really optimized for inkjet, but you're also going to see you know, Sterling Ultra Gloss, which with our optimizer on the press, we can run with that as well. I love it. So we've managed to walk ourselves into the middle of one of the press demos. So we're going to stop now, but Mark, thanks so much for taking time to explain the power of the new platform what you can print that you didn't used to be able to do as reliably. And we hope we'll see you on another episode of Print Sample TV. I'm Pat McGrew. It's I'm been our pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>